Now, Volvo reported third quarter earnings that beat analyst estimates. This is the truck maker, Volvo AB. And the company says it expects more demand for trucks in North America next year, offsetting a forecast for the market to drop in Europe. Well, Bank of America Merrill Lynch struck a more negative tone earlier this week, predicting that the global truck market will take a turn for the worse. So does this spell trouble for Volvo? Well, joining us now from Stockholm is the chief executive, and he's Martin Lundstedt. Mr. Lundstedt, thank you so much for speaking to Bloomberg Surveillance. First of all, where do you see truck demand going? Are trade tensions starting to take a toll? Yeah, we said that in our quarterly report today that we are guiding uh, our first guidance for next year, 2019, is that we see a still a solid and good demand in North America, and we are guiding up approximately 5% from already good levels in North America, and also that Europe will continue to be at good levels. We are guiding that down a little bit, but really on, on high and good uh, demand levels also for 2019. Okay, talk to me a little bit about the, the news that we found out because of a faulty emissions part. Exactly how many trucks are you expecting to recall? First of all, we are not talking about the recalls. What we have said is that we have a, a, a potential degradation of a, a component during the life cycle. So that is not uh, at delivery, but the degradation over the life cycle, a tear and wear situation. And we are in, in, at the moment investigating uh, the magnitude of that uh, population together with the authorities. Right, but I, I was going to ask you, how soon will you know the scale of the problem? And, and what's your hunt right now? Uh, we, we know, the, we, we know the, the potential population, but the important thing is actually to frame it to uh, vehicles where that could have uh, that uh, wear and tear situation over the life cycle and, and really to do the actions on those, uh, on those vehicles. And, and that is uh, progressing well, and we will come back when, when we have, so to speak, the population defined. Um, I, I understand and respect that. Do you have a, an estimated cost of how much it would take to actually replace a component or whether, Mr. Lundstedt, you're also worried about fines? First of all, we are, we are not uh, worried about fines uh, due to the fact that uh, we have discovered this in our uh, internal monitoring processes of, of the fleet uh, rolling out and, and we have actually proactively informed the authorities about this. So, so this is uh, uh, in line with all uh, rules and regulations. And then when it comes to the population and, and, and the, the possible uh, cost of that, we will uh, come back when we have defined the population. And we don't speculate on that. But it's uh, progressing in, in good order together with authorities and with customers. Um, and, uh, sir, to your knowledge, have the systems that your, struck, that your trucks have in place actually prevented them from exceeding limits, for example, of nitrogen oxide? That is the whole idea with the system that we have in the market, that uh, we are monitoring that, uh, and therefore also we, we have uh, detected this uh, degrading, and we will do proactive um, uh, actions uh, for, for the vehicles that n uh, need to, to have this uh, proactive uh, action, so to speak. So, so that is the whole idea with the whole system.